Hey, Michelle. Okay, so one of the first things that I got before I even open up the deck, which is what I'm doing right now for you, is are you working too hard? Um, seeing like workaholic tendencies. Um, I know that when you're starting a business from the ground up, we're at a little bit of a disadvantage because you have to kind of like establish yourself and maintain that. And, you know, you're doing it all on your own and you're, you know, you have to do what you have to do for you at the same time, make money in order to survive. But with that comes like a lot of just like overextending yourself. And so I just want you to tap into where you can um, rest when you can take breaks and when you can just trust and allow that God has got you. You know, God's not going to make you starve. You're not going to starve. You're going to get everything you need, even when sometimes you feel like you don't have what you need. So... You get everything that you need. It's just to allow allow it. So are you being a workaholic? All right. So the first card I have is pregnancy. The birth of a child brings great blessings to you and the world. So what I'm getting with this card is if you were to just jump into a relationship, um, just to have someone, this might happen. It might seem like, no, that can't happen to me right now or, you know, age or whatever. I'm not sure how old you are, but this is what I'm getting from this card. So if you don't want any accidental pregnancies, just be careful about any sexual activity or who you decide to get with and make sure that there's someone that you you really want to be with another thing that um, um i'm seeing that might be really helpful for you is have you tried online dating services um what i like about those is you can make your own profile focused on you and what you like and show off what you want how you want it the way you want it and then let them come to you and it can be really easy and they can take you out and message you and you can answer them when you want so i know okcupid is a free site there's also you know match.com but i feel like you do better on a site where it's not a computer computing who you should be with i feel like setting up a platform for who you are and then letting the men come to you would be great and like i said watch out for this <laughs> Um, especially during this time, during this transit. Um, I feel like settling into a serious relationship before the spring of 2015, um, unless you're in a relationship where you both can evolve quickly together. Because right now, relationships in general are being tested all across the board in romance and family and everything especially during this time before spring of 2015 because we're all on a fast-paced track of evolution. So that's what I'm saying. Be careful if you have any sexual relations now because like, you might be solidifying something with someone who you might not be with in the long run. Um, but I still say, you know, dating is fun. This, okay, walk away. Oh, wow. Leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. Are you in an unhealthy situation? I'm getting, um, this is like confirmation and like if you open up to a website, like an open dating service, or if you start meeting people, don't, don't feel inclined to cling. Just like I said, this is um, a time where we're moving through relationships really quickly because we're evolving on a quick, fast-paced track. So you're going to see all the things you don't like or you would like in being around people. And this is confirmation that if you need to walk away, go ahead and walk away. Because these energies aren't going to slow down until the spring of 2015. And so the other two cards that I pulled for you, listening. 
Yes. So I want to play this one back again to understand it more thoroughly, you know, being a Gemini. And um, spiritual growth. This is great. This is perfect because I'm getting with this. This is going to help you in the next step to your evolution. Um, should you allow yourself to acknowledge any flaws, acknowledge any things that you don't like about a situation and move in the direction that's of your best interest or of your best morality or if in or in keeping up with promises or you know you know when you need to do something and when you don't need to do something you can feel it you know when you need to step up and um finish something off or when you need to back off and walk away from a situation but for you in particular i'm just seeing you working too much um working 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 because you feel you have to because you feel you have to survive you need money to eat you need money to support yourself um seeing stress like just extreme survival 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 and um what i'm what i think you need now is bravery bravery to relax a bit bravery to trust that whatever needs to happen will happen and that the universe is going to sweep in and provide anything that is taken out of your experience and so next card affirmations okay affirmations oh it's another oh new career affirmations and ask for what you want this is perfect oh love life love life that's all these just keep coming up love life new career ask for what you want and affirmations um write down okay so we have what you need to do in order to survive and then writing down what you what you truly want like if you could just take a load off and if you had all the money in the world and it could be something as simple as sleep all day vacation um even be being with a lover ask for what you truly want do you want to push for something that you feel like you have to do or do you want to allow what you really want to come into your experience and um maybe what you thought was going to be the thing that launched your career there might be something better and it just jumped up there might be something better um i'm seeing for you that some things might fall away um some things might have served its purpose um do you write your list of affirmations of things that you like want i mean this is a very transformative period especially with the Pluto Uranus square with it coming in December um there's so much rapid evolution and rapid change so more allowance of going with the flow of what you like and like I said date go ahead and date just so you can understand what you like and what you don't like try out the dating services um online try that out and um yeah go out on a few dates have fun but don't settle if you don't want to just have fun dabble a little the world is a buffet it's an oyster so it's your oyster let's pull one more card body care this comes up a lot with capricorn rising capricorns um, because of their workaholicness and then Gemini's in general are workaholics. So, um, you want to pay attention to how are you treating your body? What are you neglecting in your body as a sacrifice for work? Do you need to sleep? Do you need to eat healthier? Do you need to pay attention to any triggers in your body that are giving you aches and pains, taking the time to research like ingredients or you know 
different foods that have been making you sick? Have you been eating too much dairy? Just to really sit down and pay attention to your body and what it's asking for and what it needs. Give your body and yourself and your mental and your spiritual body some TLC. We can be really hard on ourselves because of, you know, the mentality of the society of work, 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 I have to do this. You know, we're always at an end goal to things. Um, you want to relax and just have you allowed yourself to grieve? Um, I know we can do so much to try to like rush our healing process. Um, because we know intellectually what can't happen or what can happen or we, things are out of our hands, but have you taken the time to just be still and allow yourself to be human and just to grieve? And I'm feeling like really emotional right now. Um, bringing this up. But like it's okay. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to date and experiment. And it's okay if the memories um, come up again. If you get upset to let yourself grieve. Okay? And just, you want to treat yourself like a child, like a baby, like let it sleep when it wants to, um, let it cry when it wants to, let it be upset when it wants to. We always have to put up such a, such an armor to get through life, to work, to survive, to get through it. And um, you want to allow yourself to just be a human being as much as you can remember to do, Okay. All right, I hope that reading helped, and I know it helped me. <laughs> All right, bye.